Greetings, today we're talking about numerical patterns. We'll start by visiting the park, where on Monday Maria saw two bunnies, and on Tuesday she saw four bunnies, and on Wednesday she saw six bunnies, and on Thursday she saw eight bunnies. Wow, this is starting to look like some sort of numerical pattern. Cool. Let's make a math problem out of it. What a great idea. So here Maria went to the park each day for four days, and the table shows the number of rabbits she saw each day. Now, let's ask a question about this. If this pattern continues, how many rabbits will Maria see on the tenth day? Well, first of all, we need to find a relationship between the day and the number of rabbits. So let's give ourselves some room to work on that. Okay, we want to find an expression that gets us from the day to the number of rabbits. So if we look at day one, how can we get to two as the number of rabbits? We could add one, but that needs to work all the way through our table. So does it work in the second row? No, adding one in the second row gives us three, not four. So this is not our expression. How else can we get from a one to a two? How about multiplying by two? And you will see that that works for all of the remaining values. Now, back to our question. How many rabbits will Maria see on the 10th day? Well, we're going to need a row for the 10th day, and then we're going to need to apply our rule, or expression, which lands us at 20 rabbits on the 10th day. Now that you've had some pattern practice, let's try an example. Here, we're given the rule, and that is plus 43. It's used to show the relationship between the position of the number and the value. And we want to know which table shows this relationship. So in this first table, my position number, first one is 43. My rule is to add 43. Well, this shows 43 plus 1, when it should show 43 plus 43. This is not correct. In the second table, my position number is 1. My rule is to add 43. Here, I'm adding 42. This is not correct. In my last table, I have a position of 1 and I am correctly adding 43, and I end up with 44. And that works for each of the values, so this table is correct. Who wants to try one more example? So here our table shows the relationship between input and output numbers, and we're told they're generated by a number machine. We want to know which number machine matches the table. So if we look at this first one, the rule is to add 224. So to test this, let's give ourselves a little bit of room to work. Okay, now I can test adding 224, which I see works for the first one. If I add 224 to the next one, I get 226, which is not 450, so that doesn't work. Let's try a different one. So my next one says to multiply by 1. So if I multiply by 1, I get 1 times 1, which is 1, and this is not correct. Okay, let's try this last one. Last one says multiply by 225. So if I multiply by 225 here, I do get 225. If I multiply by 225 here, I do get 450. And it appears to work for the other values as well. Now it's your turn to practice numerical patterns.